This is the first in a series of videos on gross medical procedures you wish you'd never heard of. Why would one type of doctor put dye up your butt and then take pictures, and another type of doctor take a look at those pictures? We will discuss the defecating proctogram today on Medicine Real Talk. Welcome to Medicine Real Talk. The goal of this channel is to talk about the most interesting parts of medicine in a lighthearted way. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. On to the butt stuff. Sometimes, people have problems with pooping. When people have constipation that isn't helped by the usual things, you know, drinking more water and taking in more fiber, sometimes doctors have to do more, uh, interesting tests to see if there's something wrong with the plumbing. Oh, what sorts of problems, you ask? Some of the things that can happen are a rectoseal, an enteroseal, intussusception, and dyssynergistic defecation, or anismus. Also, rectal prolapse. This is the front of the body, this is the back of the body, this is the pubic bone, and this is the anus. This is the vagina. A rectoseal is when your rectum, the bottom part of your intestine, starts bulging into the vagina. An enteroseal is similar, but when your small intestines start bulging into your vagina. Understandably, these are things that happen to women. Intussusception is when the intestine starts telescoping over itself. Imagine those collapsible telescopes. And anismus, or dyssynergistic defecation, is basically having a tight ass. Well, it's more complicated than that, but basically there's a problem with your intestines and anus contracting with the right timing. Rectal prolapse, aka the loose sock, is basically when your intestine starts falling out of your anus. No fun at all. So what is the defecating proctogram? Defecating? That part hopefully doesn't need explaining, but if it does, it means pooping. Procto refers to the anus and rectum, and gram refers to something written or recorded, in this case, recorded with videos or pictures. Doctors need a way of seeing if there are problems with your intestines, and while sticking a camera up there is fine and dandy, sometimes you can get more information about pooping if you take some radiographic pictures while the patient is pooping. Barium is the dye, or contrast, of choice. X-rays are well absorbed with barium, so it shows up well on X-rays or fluoroscopy, which is to say, moving X-rays. If the doctor is concerned about an enteroseal, sometimes patients will swallow a small amount of barium so it gets to the small intestine. Oh, but how about getting the barium to the bottom part of the intestine? Swallow more barium contrast? Nope. Basically, they make a thick paste of barium contrast and inject it up the anus into the rectum slash intestine with a... A caulking gun? It's technically not a caulking gun, but it's basically a caulking gun. After this, it's all easy street. The patient then just sits on a plastic toilet and has x-rays repeatedly shot through them as they bear down to have a nice barium poop. The radiologist looks for interesting bulges to show up on the x-ray. Fortunately or not, depending on how you feel about this test, the defecating proctogram isn't used that much. Some researchers and doctors suggest that this test is operator dependent, which is to say that the results you get depend on who's giving the test. This could mean that the test isn't that reliable. Well, this was part one of an undetermined number of videos about gross medical procedures. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to Medicine Real Talk. If you have any suggestions for future videos, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Thanks again for watching and have an amazing day.